Afternoon guys, how the devil are ya? It's evening, it's after work, because of the sun, I'm managing to get out. We're only doing a quick little loop, it's actually a clutch testing loop really, change the clutch in it. Basically I want to get all the work done on uh, Old Gale before the lightweight adventure festival. I don't want to have anything new when I go, obviously. I want everything to have done a good couple of rides and me, you know, never normally service anything just before you go. Today, I'm out on a push bike. It's been a while since I made a push bike video. And I'm here with my friend Ben. <laughs> and we're basically going to do the ride that me and Terry did yesterday on motorbikes. We're going to go do it on push bikes because we say this and it's chucked it down in rain and we thought we'd get wet and muddy. I didn't get muddy enough yesterday with Terry, so we're getting muddier today. But it is a lovely route, so we'll hopefully if the battery lasts and the daylight lasts, I'll chat to you about the route, how different it is on the push bike, why cycling and motorbikes are very similar. If we fall off, it'll be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> if I fall off, because I'm clipped in and Ben's not. So we're missing Tony, because he's at some football thing. Oh, the clutch has definitely got more, the bike's definitely got more go. See how muddy it is, eh? Yeah. Well, definitely drier than the last time I come down here. Got a horrible feeling it's going to catch us out at some point now. We're going to hit a really mucky bit. This bit going down was all dry yesterday. Okay. Was me and Terry were pinging along yeah. and actually kicking up dust. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but it's proper slosh, yeah. Mind you, it's going to be in a minute. Once we get, uh, well, over the ridges. Oh, okay. I think what's quite nice about being on the push bike over the motorbike is taking your time and just going ploddy is fine, you know, it's acceptable to do this gently, where when I'm on the motorbike, you sort of always feel obligated to, yeah, yeah, I sort of see Terry starting to disappear and I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should try and keep up, so... Cameras are going to catch how bumpy that is. No, I think the track you can see on the sort of right is us. Okay. You, we have, you have to in the end, but no, the problem is that the four befores make these huge, great ruts, and on my little TW, it, although it's an off-road, it's not got the hugest of ground. Eggs are actually grinding out of the ruts. So A lot quieter. I haven't got the. <laughs> Especially my bloody exhaust. It's 
too loud really. Yeah. But the trouble is the original exhaust that come with it, or uh, he's busted. Um, always. So, so I put a dodgy aftermarket thing on, but it's just. But the real, I can't remember it's, what the brand is, DG something or other. They're like 400 or quid. <laughs> I've got the money at the moment. <laughs> uh, suspension on the motor motorbike's better. Drink there on again. Sign it, they had a huge rut. Yeah, I went wrong on this bit. Oh, did you? Yeah, yesterday <laughs> I lost Terry. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I didn't lose him, he went off. I think it was this because obviously you got remember on the motorbike, we're doing I don't know 20 25 miles an hour or so. And I think it's this bend. Okay. I come around this bend yeah. doing that sort of speed on your side. <laughs> And there's a couple of really big car ruts, okay. and I hit it doing sort of 25 miles an hour. That was okay. Which, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I was on that side, and I had no choice but to go down it. But I, did, I mean, I did break like a bugger, but yeah, yeah I was sort of still in it even here. Oh, okay. So I. Uh, I was on the wrong side and I had this huge rut and I had to break to a complete halt. And I was like, ah oh, fuck, because I was standing up to start with, innit? Because you know the people who first turned out the rock in here? Yes. When I went down the sun, that was like a river all the way down. Oh, cool, that was the bit, was it? Hmm? Bikers. Follow the biker.
That was our quick little jaunt, 15 miles, not too bad. Just a nice little get out, tester. It's all the byways near me. Quite impressed with that little route actually. I think that's gonna be a stable one. You know, and you can do it in reverse, which makes the route completely different, which is what we do in cycling a lot. Yeah, well, thanks for coming along guys. It's only a quickie. The uh, big bike video, the new big bike video is coming soon. I still haven't finished it. Um, but this will probably come out first. Cheers, mate. This will probably come out first. So, so wherever you are, please like and subscribe. And take care. I'll see you soon. Right, right well. Well done if you made it all the way to the end. We're uh, going to go and have a beer now. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace out. <laughs> we'll use that one then. That was in the dark. Continuity will work then.